Hello, my name is Judy and welcome to a new video. So today I have one of my huge monthly unboxing videos. As you can tell by the huge mess behind me, <laughs> there are a lot of boxes here we have to go through and I'm really excited for some of these because I know there's some things I've been waiting for for a while that have arrived. And as always, there are a lot of fairy loot ones because of my job. So yes, we have a lot of fairy loot unboxings. So I'm in a little bit of a different place to usual to film this video. I thought I'd come downstairs and sit in the front room because this room is a lot brighter. However, the light from the sun is coming through. And if I do this, the sun is like in my face. So I'm hoping I can film this quick enough before the sun decides to come right through and just like knock off all of the lighting. Um, so yeah, let's just jump straight in. So I'm quickly going to show you guys this because I've already opened it. I just filmed a little like Instagram reel TikTok of this. Um, so I'm going to show you it like what it is, but you can go and watch that as well. But I have some page overlays from the reading portal. I love the reading portal. I think they did the lights as well. So I have their bookish lights and then I have the page overlays for all of the actor books they've done so far so their most recent release was court of wings and ruin and i'm so excited about it i've just put them inside the book so yeah what's really really cool is that they come in this little envelope and then you also get this little bookmark and it has like all of the chapters and stuff that you put them on before i do show these overlays if you have not read this book please do not watch this part of the video i will put the time you can skip to on the screen because these do contain spoilers of course so yeah look away if you do not want to be spoiled for this book so let me just show you them so on page 43 we have this one which just looks so stunning look how beautiful these are i love page overlays because they just like help you to picture the story okay this is one of my favorite scenes ever i love this scene so much like oh just such an incredible scene then we have facend here the reunion is so cute then we have the scene with the bone carver the high lords meeting then we have the whole gang together here then we have my faves on the battlefield looking amazing then we have this one so this is one of the scenes that always makes me sob whenever i read this book like oh honest to god i just bawl my eyes out um and then we have this iconic scene as well love to see it and then we have this scene which i'm quite offended that they decided to do because honestly why like why did you need to make me witness that like picturing it in my mind this way Oh, just the heartbreak. I can't. Like, oh. So yeah, those are the page overlays for A Court of Wings and Ruin by The Reading Portal. I honestly love these page overlays so much. I'm a huge fan of page overlays. I think they're amazing. And yeah, I'm a little bit obsessed. I'm not going to lie. Um, so yeah, those are a pre-order. I have pre-ordered the Crown of Midnight ones, I think it is. Because I have the Throne of Glass ones already. I will always buy page overlays because... I just think they're so fun. So let's move on to a couple of fairy loot parcels. So I have a lot of sequel pre-orders here. Okay, so in this one we have the Brothers Hawthorne by Jennifer Lynn Barnes. So this I think is like, I don't know if it's a continuation of the Inheritance Games or like a spin-off, but this is the fairy loot exclusive edition of that book. So it's navy with the gold foiling. This is one of the mortal editions and this is what the full dust jacket looks like. I love the design of this book and I have major regrets not getting the Inheritance Games versions of these. So I'm gonna need to get my hands on those at some point. But I do have this one. I just love how it looks. So we do also have these sprayed edges. We have these end papers here. And then we have different end papers on the back. Now I haven't read any of this series, but I definitely do want to at some point. And um, this is also signed as well. And then we have this gorgeous foiling across the entirety of the naked hardback. So here it is. So so stunning. Honestly, I just love the aesthetic of these books so much. These editions are truly stunning. And like I said, I need to get my hands on the trilogy version as well. Um, yeah, we have this book. So next we do have a sequel, which is The Midnight Kingdom by Tara Sim. This is a sequel to The City of Dusk, which was in the adult fantasy book only subscription from Fairly. So I've got that was it earlier this year or last year. I can't remember exactly when it came out. This is the second book in the Dark Gods, either series, duology, trilogy, I'm not sure exactly. Um, but this is what it looks like. So it has kind of like an embossing kind of on the front. You can see it here 
And then this is what the dust jacket looks like. We have a solid blue sprayed edge all the way around. We have these really cool end papers. I love this. How freaking cool is that? It is also signed by the author. And then under the dust jacket, we have this gorgeous silver foiling, which just, yeah, absolutely stunning. I love that this matches the end papers. So that is our fairly exclusive edition of the Midnight Kingdom. I'm gonna do one more fairy loop and then we'll move on to some other stuff and then come back to fairy loop because I don't want it to be like all fairy loop books in a row. So yes, I'm trying to space out a little bit. Okay, so this next one isn't a sequel. This is one I cannot wait to read. I have heard so many good things about this book and I've only read one book by this author before. Um, so the author is Jennifer L. Armstrong. I've read from Blood and Ash and I did really enjoy it. It took me a while to get into it. But I never ended up reading the second book or continuing the series and I do actually own a lot of them. But yeah, anyway, this is the Felix Sousa edition of Fall of Wrath and Ruin. Fall of Wrath and Ruin. It just sounds better, Fall of Wrath and Ruin to me, instead of this way around. I don't know. Um, but this is Fall of Ruin and Wrath by Jennifer L. Armand Trout. So this is what it looks like. It has this gorgeous purple design. I love the colour scheme. I love yellow and purple together. I don't know what it is. I just think it's a stunning combination. Then we have these sprayed edges. So we have this really cool sword design, which I love. And I love how like this half of the sword kind of disappears into the smoke. It just looks so cool. Like I love the smoky effect going like across the sword and the way it kind of like does that. I just think it's really cool. So yes, we do have these cool edges. We have a solid top and bottom purple edge. And then inside we have these stunning end papers, which are the same front and back, which match our front cover. We have a little signature here. And then underneath we have this stunning sword design. I love the naked hardback for this. I just think this is a gorgeous design. I definitely think I wanna display this on my shelf like this, but then I also love the spray edge, so I'm like, which way do I display it? But then we also have this, which is my favorite part. This is some of my favorite art I've ever seen. So this is the reverse dust jacket, and this is what it looks like. How stunning is that? I'm gonna try my best to like show this entire thing, but the lighting is not on my side right now. Um, and I have shaky hands today, but yeah, I'm obsessed with that artwork, honestly, I think, it is absolutely stunning and I just love this edition so much. So it says here, she survives on her intuition, he thrives on her pleasure. And that's all I know. <laughs> Not gonna read into anything else about this book. I've managed to avoid learning what this book is about at all costs. And I would like to keep it that way because of how I felt about From Blood and Ash and like not continuing that series. I don't wanna go in with any expectations from knowing the synopsis or anything. But I have heard that this is good, but I have lowered my expectations because I just don't know if I gel with her writing style because I've only read one book by her before. And this is an anticipated release for me because I've heard it's very good kind of like enemies to lovers vibes. And I've heard that this has like a printing and stuff and that kind of romance. So that's what made me excited for it originally. And I'm just excited to try like a whole new kind of like story from Jennifer L. Armand Child. And I don't know, just something about this. I just feel like it's gonna be good. And that's with me knowing very little about it. But yeah, this is the fairly exclusive edition. I think it's stunning. I cannot wait to read it. And I also cannot wait to just display this on my shelf because I'm obsessed. I think I'm gonna buy like the standard hardcover though to put the reverse dust jacket on so I can display that and the sprayed edge because yeah, there's no way I'm not displaying both. They're both too stunning. But yeah, I'm very happy that I have this. Okay, so next we have an Amazon package. Now I do have another Amazon package upstairs but I'm not including it in this unboxing because it is gift wrapped and I'm saving it for Christmas. Um, oh, this one's also gift wrapped. Okay, so we're not gonna open this, so sorry. <laughs> I'm gonna save these for Christmas. So you will have to stay tuned for something. I'm gonna be filming a Christmas day vlog, I think, and I will likely open these in that vlog. So that will be exclusive to my Patreon. I do that every single year, so if you did, want to watch that you can i will also be filming a what i got for christmas video exclusively for patreon as well so yeah you can head to patreon if you want to know any of that but this will probably be in a book haul maybe somewhere um but yeah anyway really really excited to open anything like this at christmas time um so thank you so much to whoever sent me this because i do not know at the moment but i'm very excited and i feel very lucky um so yeah I, i'm gonna save this one for christmas day okay so this next one i'm pretty sure i know what this is and i squealed when i realized because this is one of my most anticipated releases for 2024 
and I have loved this author's books and I just genuinely really love this author. I think she's just such a cool person. And yeah, I was so excited when I first heard about this book and that's ASAP by Axie O. So I read XOXO and I've read The Girl Who Fell Beneath the Sea, but XOXO is one of my favorite books. I loved it so much. If you are a K-pop or K-drama girl, you need to read that book. It is so perfect and it was just so fun. So yeah, this one is a second chance romance. And this one follows like a K-pop idol as well. And like, I think they're both K-pop idols and I'm pretty sure it's following characters from XOXO. And I was just so excited. And yeah, so on the back, it actually has like a lot of these kind of tropes. Um, so it says it's the second chance romance, a sunshine boy meets grumpy girl, ex-high school sweethearts, perfect K-drama romance, a K-pop boy band is your found family. So there's so many good tropes in here. This comes out in February 2024. And if I didn't already say it, this is ASAP by Axie O. Would highly recommend you read XOXO and also pre-order this. I did see on Axie's Instagram that there is a like limited edition special pre-order campaign. So if you order from specific bookstores, you get like special goodies from Axie herself, which is amazing. So I'm gonna do that and I'm really excited. Um, so yeah, make sure you go and pre-order this book, but look how cute they are. I believe these are on the couple as well, but I cannot wait to read this book. I'm debating filming a vlog dedicated to reading my anticipated releases before they come out, because I also have another package, which is one of my anticipated releases. And I still can't believe that I was sent this. <laughs> like, thank you so much to, I think a certain someone, um who is responsible for this if you're watching you know who you are so yes thank you so much for sending me a copy of this book and i'm so excited to read it so if i do that vlog i will be reading this book as part of it oh there's oh, there's little goodies in here oh my god this is so cute oh my god okay i don't want to open anything so i actually want to take a photo of it all oh, this is so cute okay so the book is a fragile enchantment by alison saft and I am so, so excited for this. So look how stunning this is. So I don't think this is an arc. I think this is just like an early copy of the paperback, which is just so amazing. And look at it, it's like shiny and beautiful. I love it so much. And it says in the back, a love story for the ages threaded with intrigue and scandal. So this is like historical Bridgerton-esque regal royalty kind of vibes. And it's basically about this cursed seamstress and we also have a prince. And there's like some kind of royal scandal going on and they end up kind of like involved in it together and then a romance kind of ensues from there. So Alison Safters wrote A Far Wilder Magic and Down Comes the Night, I think. Uh, there are two of her books, but there might be more. Um, but this one comes out, I can't remember, if it's in January I want to say it comes out in January um but I'm so excited to read this and they did also send me a bunch of goodies as well like there's some little threads and like invitations and stuff so I want to take a photo of these because I'm just so excited it comes out on the 4th of January so this is all the information here so yeah I'm, I just can't wait to read this I have such a good feeling about this book um so yeah I feel extremely lucky that i have two of my most anticipated 2024 releases in my hands right now so i think i might film a little reading vlog reading these and maybe a couple of others that i have but yeah so excited and just feel so so grateful so, so thank you to both book break and hopper for sending me these i am eternally grateful and so excited about both of them i will link the pre-order links for each of them in the description box okay so next we have an amazon parcel and this is the stunning i think german edition of i am flame i ordered this for the sprayed edges of course i do already own the fourth wing edition of this so i of course wanted the matching I am flame one and I think this might still be available on Amazon but I don't know but that's why I got mine um so this is what it looks like I'm gonna open it because I'm sure there's art under the dust jacket and I did accidentally order two of these so I will be getting rid of one of them but yes this is so stunning so these are the sprayed edges here so it goes all the way from the bottom right up to the top absolutely stunning edges honestly it's so vibrant and then we have a map inside here. And then under the dust jacket, we have this really cool dragon design, which how friggin' cool is that design? Oh, a bookmark fell out, but yeah, how cool is that? So we also have a map on the back and pages as well. Um, and this does come with a ribbon. Obviously I cannot read German, so I will not actually 
physically read this. I bought it purely for the sprayed edges because yes, I am one of those people. I love me a pretty edition of a book I like. So yes, very, very happy that I got my hands on this one. Cannot wait to put it on my shelf next in my fourth wing edition. But yes, nice piece of book mail. So next we have this fairy loop one, which again is likely a sequel, I think. So yes, this is a sequel. This is the fairy loop exclusive edition of the sequel to Her Majesty's Royal Coven. So this one is the Shadow Cabinet and I do have the Fairloot edition of Her Majesty's Royal Coven because I got it in the adult subscription. So these are the sprayed edges. They are the same as the first one, just a different colour, which I love. I love consistency. This is what the edges do look like. And then this is the design here. So we have this really cool colour change. I love the vibrancy of these editions. And then we have these M pages inside. And then we have this really, really cool design underneath. So this is what it looks like all the way around. Super cool. I love these designs. So yeah, this is a adult fantasy series. And as it sounds, it does have witches in. I think it's also sapphic, but I could be wrong because I have not read the first book yet. But I'm pretty sure it is. Um, and I've just heard nothing but good things about these books. And I really want to read them soon. I'm definitely going to pick them up next year. And I'm just so happy that I have a matching edition now. And I know a new one in this series just got announced. So I can't remember if it's like a prequel or like a novella or something. But there is like a new one coming out. But it's not like the official third book. It's like somewhere else in the series, I think. I'm pretty sure I could have just made that up and be getting confused with another book. But I'm sure either the third book or something to do with this series has just been announced. But yeah. Anyway, really, really excited about this stunning edition. So... We have another pretty book. Then we have this Waterstone package, which has been sat in my library for quite some time. And I think this is the like special edition of Fourth Wing. So this is the special edition of Fourth Wing. I love this edition because it's embossed and I just like the tones of it. Like I think it's so nice. Um, so I'm really, really happy to have this. So this is what it looks like here. And then there was another edition of Fourth Wing, I think with sprayed edges. I'm sure there was one with sprayed edges, but I might have made that up as well. The matches I'm flame. I can't remember. I'm sure there's two. I'm sure there's this edition and then another edition that was on Waterstones. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, please, but I'm pretty sure you could get this. And then they announced the sprayed edge one. I think I have the sprayed edge one pre-ordered as well. But this one, I think I pre-ordered first. So yeah, this is the gorgeous edition here. I just love that gold foiling. There's nothing under the dust jacket, but we do have these and papers here which are kind of cool and they're the same on the back as well i do feel like they could have done a little bit more with those end papers like just to make it a little bit like you know or maybe put like the gold foiling onto the naked hardback but i still just really like this edition anyway like i prefer this to the original cover i think this is so much more nicer and um, much more fitting in my opinion but yeah very very happy to have this to go on my shelf then we have you guessed it another fairy loot box so at this point my unboxings are like mostly fairy loot but i am obviously not complaining i'm very lucky and i love fairy loot so much this is the sequel to city of nightmares and this is what it looks like so this is city of dreams by rebecca schaefer absolutely stunning addition we have the silver foiling there's like these tiny details here i don't know if you guys can see them which i just think is so cool and then we have our amazing spray edges with the little dinosaur on which is so cute and the end papers are stunning so we have these end papers here which are so beautiful and then we have some more end papers at the back here and then under the dust jacket we have this really really cool design with the dinosaurs like look how freaking cool that is also signed by the author and this is a ya duology so this is obviously the conclusion to the story so the first book was included in a fairy loop ya box i think last year and yeah i can't wait to read this duology i try to wait now until series or duologies or trilogies or quartets are complete now before i start them because i'm in the middle of so many different series so i'm trying my best not to just start new books anymore that aren't like either in a series i've already started reading or like a standalone or something unless i am like obviously really really excited for it or in the mood for it but yeah i'm really, really excited to read this now now that this is a complete duology and i do love a duology sometimes it's just so nice to dip into a world and not have to commit to like a really long series 
So you get that kind of like standalone novel feeling, but you also get like a little bit something more in the second book, if that makes sense. Like I can't explain it, but I do love a good duology. So I'm very excited to read this. So next we have our Illumicrate for November, I think this is. And I'm pretty sure I already know the book. Uh, this again has been sat in my library for so long, but I was waiting until I filmed this video to unbox it. So it was the November 2023 box and the theme was the anti-hero. Taylor Swift, you know, love the Swifty reference and not gonna lie. I do love the Swifty reference, although that's obviously not what they were going for, but in my head, I'm thinking that. Yeah, this was the theme. So we do have a mug. I love getting bookish mugs, like absolutely live for it. But at the same time, like my mug cupboard is so full, like I just don't have room anymore. So I need to figure out a new way of displaying them. I already have some on my bookshelf. I've got some as like plant parts, pen parts, you name it. But I need to figure out another way of displaying them um so yeah we have another bookish mug this one is by rosie thorns and this is inspired by the murderbot diaries um i have no idea what that is and i probably will never check to be honest um so i don't know if i actually will keep this one to be honest it's not really my kind of vibe this is what it looks like so this is the design here so yeah i do really like these mugs i like the size but this just unfortunately is not really for me so i think i will probably give this away or something i don't know this is what the box looked like as well so yeah the box is really nice packaging but yeah we have a mug so next we have some locked tome of bookends these are inspired by gideon the ninth probably not going to keep these either because i already have my gideon the ninth i can't sleep today um bookends from my fairly box last month or the month before i don't think i'm going to get these other packaging to be honest either this is what they look like i don't know if you guys can kind of see but yeah just because i already have them i'm not i just don't need two sets these are really really good quality and they are a really nice item so yeah they're like black with this like skull design i don't know how well you can see because of the light but this is what they look like so again i will not be keeping those unfortunately um honestly i kind of just wanted this box for the book i wasn't too fussed by the items I don't really think like any of these items are kind of like my vibe which you know that's totally fine because obviously i'm not gonna like everything in the box like there's so many other people that this subscription is for like i don't expect to like every single item but it's literally totally fine like and i get a stunning book out of it so it's it's no big deal so yeah i will just like give them to someone i don't know i'm sure i'll find somebody who wants them um so next we have a christmas ornament which is really cool this is a bone dog ornament this is inspired by the bone dog from nettle and bone um which is a really really cool item um so it's like this silvery one and yeah it has this cool little thing on it i feel like my friend jan would love this jan if you're watching this video and you want this drop me a message and i'll send it to you because <laughs> i just feel like that's definitely i could imagine that on your christmas tree like i just know you and joey would love that so yeah anyway i will probably give that to jam because i do really love it i think it's such a cool item as well to include and i love the aesthetic but it just would not match my color scheme on any of my christmas trees so i will probably give that to somebody uh, but we have this really cool ornament and i love that idea and then next we have a night market foldable bag which is inspired by the stardust thief and it says it's great for any shopping trips honestly i have a shopping problem so this will be great for me because i love these i had one of these that you can like keep in the little bag but i lost it so this is really cool to have again how do you get this out how do i how do i do this okay not the easiest to get out really oh there, there is absolutely no way i'm folding that back up again the right way absolutely no way so this is the bag and it is huge which is a really cool item um so this is the design here it has the city on it and it says night market i really like that item i love practical and useful items now can i fold it back the same way let's see i feel like this is a challenge i've made a good effort so far but my problem now is the handles how do the handles go back in it's not going to look as neat and aesthetic as like it was but i am impressed by myself for getting that back in there because you would not believe how dumb i am when it comes to stuff like this um but i really like this this is a perfect item i love useful items and yeah i will definitely make use of that when i go shopping um so yeah unfortunately mm, not a big fan of the items but the book i am very very excited for 
I was very, very happy when I heard this was the book that was going to be included because I've heard many a good things about this book. So this is Starling House by Alex E. Harrow. I have read one book by this author before, which, oh, what was it called? It was A Spindle Splintered and I very much enjoyed that book. That was a very short book. It was a dark retelling of Sleeping Beauty, amazing. I would highly recommend it. It didn't have like the best reviews on Goodreads, but I personally really enjoyed it when I read it. I think I read that in like a day, but yeah, I was very excited about this book. And this has this really cool plasticky, like they did, they've done this with some like books where it's like, you can remove this. It's like a plastic dust jacket, which I think is really cool. So this is what it looks like. And I think this is stunning. I think it is the same as the original or maybe similar. This is what the dust jacket looks like so if i take this off you guys will see what i mean so you can remove like the whole thing and it is clear which is like really really cool so that's what that looks like and it says here step into stone house if you dare and there's sinister forces and she'll have to go down the deep down beneath starling house to claw her way back to the light and there's a guy as well apparently i actually don't know a lot about this but Again, heard it's very, very good. So this is what the Naked Hardback looks like. I love the vibes, the spooky, gothic. Absolutely love that. Um, we then also have these end papers here, which look really cool. And we've got the same end pages on the back as well. And then we have these stunning sprayed edges. Look how beautiful they are. I love those. So this is unsigned, but it does have a author letter inside as well. But yeah, I'm very, very excited about this edition because I think it's a really gorgeous edition. Like I just love the naked hardcover and these sprayed edges. And I can't wait to give this a read. I'll probably save this maybe towards next autumn when I'm in the mood for like a spooky kind of story i've heard a lot of good things about this and i really liked alexi e. harry's other book so i feel like i do like their writing style but yeah we have this illuminate book for november very very excited to have this the items weren't really for me but like i said that is fine like obviously they don't make these boxes with me specifically in mind so i'm not always gonna like all the items that get included but they are still really, really cool items, like a mug and bookends and an ornament is a really, really cool thing to include in a box. And I'm sure there's so many people who love these fandoms or like these items specifically. It's not the item itself, it's just like the fandom or the fact that like, I already have it or don't have a use for it this time around. But I still really like a lot of great boxes um, and the book is stunning. So yeah, that's my little two piece on that. Okay, and now we're gonna open this fairy loot one, which probably again will be a sequel. So many sequels have come out all at once. Oh, okay, so this isn't a sequel. I think this, or is this a, wait, yeah, this is a sequel, I think. I know I've ordered a Chloe Gong book from The Trove, unless this could be it. I know one just came out but I can't remember which way around it is. Um, but either way, this is the book that I have because I was missing one of the fairy editions of Chloe Gong's books, which I ordered from the Trove. And then I know there was one just coming out. So I don't know which is which, but we have Foul Heart Huntsman. I think this is the one I ordered from the fairy Trove. So this is what it looks like here. I got this to match my other fairy loot editions. We have these really gorgeous sprayed edges. I love these. We have these stunning end papers. Um, and then we also have these end papers on the back here. It is signed by Chloe Gong. And then under the dust jacket, we have this gorgeous design here. Love this color combo and the foiling. So this is in the Foul Lady Fortune series. This is set in Shanghai in the 1930s, this one. I think the other one might be the 1920s. I can't remember. Um, but it follows, like, I think Juliet's cousin from These Are Delights. It's like, it's like a spin-off, I think, of that, if I remember correctly. And I think there's, like, spies and stuff as well. Um, so, yeah, very, very excited to have the Furly Edition to match my others. And I cannot wait to read all of Chloe Gong's books. I haven't gotten around to it yet. But I do plan to kind of start with these Aunt Delights, read that duology, and then go on to this series. And I've heard it's really, really good. So I'm very, very excited. And I just love this edition. Like, it's so pretty. And I love the edges. I just realized, like, all of these books are, like, from series that I haven't read yet. But it's fine. Like I said, I'm doing that thing where I don't really read books until the sequels come out. Next, we have this parcel, which I think is from The Broken Binding. So they did, like, a sale. Sorry, my sister called me, but what I was saying was I don't really buy a lot from the Broken Binding. Like, I just do the odd pre-order here and there. And I wouldn't usually buy a lot from this sale, but they had these books here. 
This is literally two copies of the same book, by the way. Um, and I'll explain why in a moment. For a ridiculous like amount of money. Like I was like, what? For a hardcover, brand new, nothing wrong with it. Like you don't gotta tell me twice. So I ordered two copies because you all know I love to collect special editions and custom dust jackets of my favorite books by my favorite authors. That is no secret, as my Sarah J Mass shelves will tell you, I have so many custom dust jackets. So I have these here and I love how they come wrapped. Like this is so cute. So both come wrapped this way. So we have two here. These are literally just two copies of House and Sky and Breath. And I'm pretty sure I paid £1.82 for each of these. £1.82 pence. Like, are you joking me? So yeah, the reason I bought these is because I have some special edition dust jackets, which I had to use like special edition versions of these, if that makes sense. Like I had special edition with like bonus content in that I didn't want to put a custom dust jacket on, but I had to because I didn't have a copy for it, if that makes sense. So I've been meaning to grab some more editions of this for those dust jackets and also because I plan to buy more dust jackets because I know when a third book comes out there's going to be like more sets people will release so I knew I needed to buy more copies anyway but when I saw these for 182 I literally grabbed them and I would have ordered more but there was literally two left um so I literally just ordered two copies and I think postage cost more than these two did like it cost like half this is Full price this is 16.99 and it cost me half of that for both of these with postage which is just insane yeah i did get two copies of these thank you so much the broken binding for <laughs> that amazing deal because like i still i'm just like in shock i still need to buy more copies of the first book but that is so expensive to get in hardcover so yeah i'm a wait on that one to be honest but yeah i'm really happy that i managed to snag these anyway for such a good price and that i have these additions to put my nice little custom dust jackets on. So yes, I did decide to pick those up. And then the last package I have is the one I am most excited about. So I do still have another order coming from another American company that I've wanted to order for for a while. But unfortunately it didn't arrive in time for this video. So I'm probably gonna include that in like just a general vlog. But this is by the, I don't know if they're called the bookish goods. I think they could be. Um, but during Black Friday, I decided to order from them because the thing is, the shipping from the state is so expensive. And this was really expensive. I only got three items and it did cost like a lot. But I was like, this can be my Christmas present to myself. I've been eyeing these items up for quite some time. And considering like I could finally get some money off, I was like, it kind of cancels out the shipping in my head. Like it's kind of, you know, it's a free shipping because I saved money. I'm because I saved money in my head because I had money off, if you know what I mean. It's girl math, probably makes no sense though. But this is the store here. Um, so I think they are just called Bookish Goods. But yeah, I ordered that little bookish bag. So basically they released these bags designed specifically for a reader and it fits in your kindle and i think a small size paperback and then on the zip it says bookish so it is like a crossbody bag i think i've made it a little bit too big but it is like a little crossbody bag and i really like these i do already have one but i do have a bookish one um so yeah this is what it looks like i got the black one but you can get this in like a sage color and i think white it has this b down here for bookish and then it has a zip compartment on the back which you can put stuff in and on the little like zip it says bookish now i don't know if my camera is gonna focus i don't know if you guys can see that on the little zip it could be back to front but it says bookish here which i think is really really cute yeah this fits your kindle in and like other items like it's so wide and it has like these different compartments inside so you've got like three different pockets and then your middle section. So you can put your Kindle in there, your phone, your wallet, your like lipstick, whatever. It fits so much more in than it looks. Like I've watched people's videos. And yeah, I just thought this was such a good item to have. And I just really wanted it. So I decided to get it while it was Black Friday. Then I saw these socks and I just thought they were adorable. I'm a sucker for a nice pair of socks. It's like I have a thing for buying mugs. And now apparently a thing for buying socks because the amount of socks I've bought in the last couple of months is insane. But these were really cute. They're probably gonna be too big for me because I have tiny feet. Um, but look how cute they are. So like these nice gray color and then they just say bookish 
on the top and I love wearing socks like this sticking out of like my Uggs or like my Converse like I just think it looks really cool with a pair of jeans so I did get these ones and then on the bottom it says the bookish goods and they're really thick and like cozy and I just thought they were really cute so I did randomly decide to buy a pair of socks and then this is the item I'm most excited for so this is a blanket so I've seen these all over Instagram and I always wanted one and it was a little pricey I'm not gonna lie but like I said because I've wanted this for so long and because I just love to make excuses I was like you know what it's Christmas I'm gonna treat myself and I have been saying that now since November and I've been treating myself a lot okay nobody is gonna buy me more Christmas presents than I bought for myself like it is insane but you know what I am not a responsible person my philosophy is live now <laughs> like that meme where it's like live do what you like like yes that is me i'm very much a, like do what i want now if it makes me happy in the present and not worry about the future like so if i see something i want and if i have the funds to be able to get it then i am going to do it and i'm very very privileged to be able to do that um and yeah i did decide to just go ahead and treat myself to this i don't know why i feel the need to justify like spending my own money but i know people can be mean and judgy on the internet and like you know sitting here unboxing all this stuff yeah like i feel guilty but yeah anyway i'm not gonna get into a huge ramble all i'm trying to say is i know i'm extremely lucky and privileged to be in this position to treat myself to such things and yeah i i'm just i really wanted to get myself this for a while and black friday was the excuse that i needed to do it so i did um but this is so soft so this is a bookish blanket and i got the beigey like gray creamy one i was tying up between the other colour for a while there's like a sagey one and if they do another sale and I'm feeling generous towards myself again and I use this one a lot I may have to get myself the other colour but I live in a house that is always cold except for in the summer it's too hot but it is really cold like you put the heating on in this house the moment you turn it off it's back to like freezing again like we blow cold air out in this house a lot like it's very cold it's an old house um so I'm always using blankets and this one is a bookish one. It's so cute. It's very simple. So my style is very like, I like subtly bookish stuff, which is why I love that bag because it's bookish, but no one would know that except for me. Like, so I like subtly bookish kind of things or like kind of minimalist style. Um, and I feel like this blanket is definitely that. And it's just so, so soft. And I just feel like one of the cool American book girlies now that I have this blanket. Um, so I'll try and show you guys what it looks like. It's kind of going to be hard because of the lighting in here. So I'll show both sides. So, so I don't know if you guys can see it, but it has like books all over it. Can you see those? I don't know if you guys can see, but it has like all these cool books all over it. And like, it's just like really subtle and like, it's so, so soft. Like you don't understand. Like this is my new favorite thing it's incredibly soft like it's squishy and like oh i just love it so much i'm so happy that i got myself this and it has like these really cool bees on for bookish as well you can see here um so yeah i love this so much like it's so cute and it's just like i love the color of it it matches my living room so yeah i'm very very happy that i got this blanket and i can't wait to just snuggle up with it all the time but that does conclude my unboxing video i hope you guys did enjoy this unboxing video as i always disclaim i know i am extremely lucky and extremely privileged to be able to unbox all this book mail and i do feel very very grateful and lucky to do so it's never lost on me and i'm very very grateful to all of you for watching these videos and for all of your support and yeah i just i love receiving books and buying books and reading books and just all things bookish it makes me very happy and yeah i am just feeling very very grateful and this is the part where i try to get all of the books in my arms and they inevitably fall on the floor or on me but we're gonna try anyway because it's just like a tradition at this point now the thing is how am i fitting these on my shelf every time i get new books i'm like i have to reorganize now again oh my gosh this is a bit silly and the fact i know i have parcels at my parents house as well with books in Okay, so this is definitely gonna fall on me. Okay, so here is all 
of the books. So yeah, there's a lot of books here. I'm very impressed by my strength. They nearly all fell. Um, but we got many good books in this unboxing video and I can't wait to put these on my shelf. So yes, let me know in the comments if you'd like to see a reading vlog of reading these books. It would be spoiler free since these books aren't out until next year. So let me know if you would like me to do that. And I would also read a couple of other books alongside these in the vlog. So yeah, let me know down below if you would like me to do that. Yes, thank you so much for watching this video. And if you did make it this far, leave a pink heart emoji in the comments. I'll also leave the links for the pre-orders in there and anything else I've mentioned will be in the description box along with all my social media links. You can also find the link to my Patreon to watch my Christmas Day vlog and the what I got for Christmas video as well when that comes out towards the end of the month and there's lots of other things on there we do a monthly buddy read we do a monthly readathon we have a discord we sometimes do live shows there's exclusive videos on there and hauls and lots of other things it's all over my patreon so if you were interested in any extra content from me you can head there but thank you guys so much for watching this video I hope you're all safe and well I hope you're reading lots of good books and I'll see you in the next one bye